You want to play Minecraft with a controller, whether it's an Xbox controller like this, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or even Steam Deck, you can do that using the Midnight Controls mod, and we're going to show you how to get this mod and install it in this video. Now, first things first, you need to download it. every single download link we mention in this video. It's linked down below, but we can also Google Midnight Controls download, for example, and get to this same download page. Once you're there, go ahead and click on versions, and then we want to make sure that we're getting the fabric version, and then for whatever version you want of Minecraft, this is available. We're going to go ahead and get the most recent one and download it. While this is downloading, I'm going to mention our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends, where you can add any mods that you want and even one-click install hundreds of mod packs. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, with Midnight Controls downloaded, we also need to get the Fabric API. Of course, link down below, but we can also go to Google and search for Fabric API and download it from here as well. When you are downloading the Fabric API, all you've got to look out for is that you are getting the version that you are getting Midnight Controls for. So in our case, that's this version, but for any version, this will work. And of course, this will take a second to download as well, where you will need to keep or save it. There's one more thing that we need to download, and that's the Fabric Mod Loader itself. This is an in-depth guide on getting Fabric with a quick and easy download link. But as always, you can download it from Google with Download Fabric Minecraft. And once you're here, you'll click download to go to this page. Here, click download for Windows. This download will begin and we can save it. Now finally, let's get all this installed. To do that, you'll need to minimize your browser and find the files. They're most likely in your downloads folder here, where you can go ahead and double click Fabric Installer. It may warn you that you're opening an unfamiliar program. You're 100% okay to open this anyway. Then just go ahead and make sure it's the version you're getting Fabric Midnight Controls for, and then go ahead and click Install, and it will now install Fabric. Click OK and close out of it. You can now delete Fabric from your computer as well. Now all we got to do is install our mods. It's super easy to do this, but I'm going to move them to the desktop just so it's even easier once Minecraft's open to drag and drop them. So go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and then in the launcher, click on installations at the top and go to the folder icon that appears when you hover over your fabric installation. Here you should have a mods folder, but if you don't for whatever reason, you can just go ahead and make a brand new mods folder and then all you've got to do to install the controller mod is drag and drop it into the mods folder right like so. Now play Minecraft using Fabric, and once we're in game, we can plug our controller in. Generally, I would wait until you're in game to plug the controller in, because sometimes it won't recognize it once you get in game, if you don't. So I would just recommend waiting until then. If you've already got it plugged in, though, worst case, you have to disconnect and reconnect your controller. This will work with Bluetooth controllers as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and connect my controller, though, via USB here. Just go ahead and connect it on up, and it will recognize, as you can see, X input gamepad, that is Xbox input gamepad, and I can go ahead and just start controlling this using, basically, my controller, right? I can click around, we can go to options, we can go to controls, where in the top right, there is this little controller icon. This is where you can change all of your different settings, including your controller bindings. A lot of them are by default, basically the Bedrock Edition controls, but we can go ahead and go back, for example, we can click done, and of course we can play the actual game with this, including joining a server like those from Simple Game Hosting. So we can join on in to this server and completely play it with a controller. I think we can double tap to run. We can, you know, right click, left click, or sorry, left trigger to open gates and doors. We can break blocks with right trigger, and you can even set your sensitivity and all of that stuff using the settings that we were just in. So now you're playing Minecraft with a controller, running around and doing awesome stuff. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.